Hi everyone and welcome back to another matchday vlog and we have a very busy weekend this week because we have three derbies on the menu uh, two from football and one from ice hockey and we're starting here today Friday afternoon it's one of my favorite holy wars and we are back in the city of Radom uh, just southeast of Warsaw and it's time again for another match between Radom and Radom and Corona Kielce. Last year I was lucky I was able to go to both games in the season and from what I've learned, normally the rivalry between the teams is very big. But in this case, it's really between the cities. It basically comes down to that Radom used to be in the Kielce Voivodeship in the province. But Kielce is the capital city uh, in that Voivodeship. So that meant that over the 100 years, they were getting all the development. And Radom was basically left behind. And from there, the attitude to, between these two cities got sour and then apparently uh, in the 70s there was a big riot of strikes here in Radom and the story goes that members of the paramilitary police of the communist regime that were living here in Kielce uh, were sent to Radom to beat them up which increased the hatred even more between those two cities. I personally like this derby because of that history but also because you can feel it that it's a derby. You could say I've been to a fair few of derbies over these last two years. The ones between Radom and Kielce are always the most enjoyable for me because the passion of the crowd is also reflected onto the field. I'm expecting the match to be sold out even though Radom is not really in good shape. They're basically in the relegation zone, so they need a win. Uh, but they haven't won against Kielce for the last three years. Last year the derby went in favor of Kielce. Uh, they drew here in Radom 1-1. And at home they destroyed around basically 4-0. As you can see I'm excited for the game. Uh, I'm not excited for the return trip because I have to go via Warsaw and Krakow. I am expecting it that it will be a difficult game for Radom. Corona is in a sort of shape. But maybe the passion of the derby can give Radom that extra Last season there were no kielbasas at the stadium, so I'm curious to see if they upgraded that. So let's get to the stadium. So as you can see the stadium is not finished yet. Uh, basically it's two main stands and they're building the third stand now behind the goal. It's a nice stadium, uh, but again no kielbasa on this side at least.
We have some uh, Radom and Yogo Bonito in the first half. Uh, it's all Radom Yak. Weak defending on the first goal. Uh, Roja could just uh, win the ball basically and head it over the goalkeeper. Uh, but he got hit on the way by the goalkeeper, who got yellow. But the second goal was pretty sexy. And Radom should have scored three or four at the moment. Let's see what they can do in the second half. This is going to be an easy match review. Uh, total domination from Radomiak. And an absolute great game from Leandro Roja. Like, he misses a lot of chances, but, but when he gets the right service, then he's absolutely dangerous. But we'll see Radom again on Wednesday, I think, uh, in the cup against Gornik Zabja. So let's see if they can bring the same performance. Well, I'm worried for Gornik because Roja and Ktara I look uh, very good in form. But that was the first derby. Atmosphere, of course, one-sided because there's no away fans. I do think last year it was a bit better. But still, I enjoyed it and the atmosphere also. So I will definitely try to go to the Corona Radom game in the second half of the season. But yeah, now I have the long way home via Warsaw and Krakow uh, to Bebek and Katowice to be able to go tomorrow to the next derby. Spoiler. It's the Slansky Classic. But well, thanks for joining me today. No sausage review, you, uh, Radomek. Please fix that. And as always, please like and subscribe. You know what to do. And we'll see each other tomorrow. Bye bye.